So strong oracles are extremely useful, and you should always use one if you can possibly find one. We're going to have a bunch of examples here. So let's start off with one of the important ones, which is having an alternate implementation of the same specification. And if you think about it, this is what my random tester for the bounded queue did, and perhaps what yours also did. And what I mean by that is, my queue tester included a second implementation of the same queue abstraction. This one was implemented with a Python list. And since it was a second implementation of the same abstraction, we could use it to actually check that the queue that we were testing gave the right answers. And so that's a very strong kind of a check. Another example that we use in my compiler testing work, we do what's called differential testing of compilers. And what that basically means is that if we have multiple implementations of the same compiler specification, that is to say, for example, multiple C compilers, we expect them to behave the same given equivalent inputs. Another way that we might get an alternate implementation is simply looking at an older version of the software that we're testing. So this is checking not necessarily whether the software is correct, but just whether, whether, whether we've broken it. And so remember, for example, that I said that Intel probably could have tested the Pentium floating point unit against the 487 floating point unit. Another kind of old version Oracle that tends to be extremely effective is after a refactoring change, that is to say, a change of our source code base that isn't intended to have any functional effect, we can use the versions before and after refactoring. We can do differential testing of the versions before and after refactoring, and in that, in, in, in that way, try to get a pretty good idea that the refactoring didn't actually break the code. The best kind of alternate implementation that you could have is a reference implementation. That is to say, some sort of an implementation of the specification that you're after that you can trust. For example, if I wanted to implement an extremely high performance Python compiler, what I would do is I would use the regular CPython implementation as the reference implementation, and that would be treated as correct 